Well, hello, thank you for joining me today. In this video, I wanted to share with you five revolutionary cleaning products that have changed the way I clean. Uh, they make my life so much easier. These things are revolutionizing the cleaning world. Trust me. You're going to want to run, not walk, to acquire these products if you don't already have them. But I hope you already have them and enjoy them as much as I do. Let me start by telling you my number one favorite thing that I've purchased in the last year, and that is my Dyson Cordless Stick Back. This thing, I use it probably three or four times a day, and it's not just for vacuuming the floors. It comes with so many different attachments. This attachment is my favorite because there is a little brush that can extend, but it also has a, a stick that comes with it so that it works just like a regular vacuum cleaner. You can attach to that extension a roller for carpets, and also a roller for hardwoods. Both of them work perfectly, wonderfully, and with the power of the suction you get, you can pick up so many things that you didn't even know were in your rug. When I first got it, I was keeping it on high suction all the time and that worked really good, but I've got to where I'm just keeping it on max suction and it is sucking up everything. If there is a dead bug, I get it. If there is a live bug, I get it. And it just helps to make things easy. If I see just a little speck of anything on the carpet, maybe a thread, I grab my Dyson and pick it up. Uh, just because if I pick it up, chances are it's not going to go in the vacuum or go into the trash can. It's going to stick to my hand and wind up on the floor again. So if you have not researched a Dyson cordless vacuum cleaner, I would recommend you do it. As I did my research, I noticed that everybody was comparing their brand that they were buying or purchased to a Dyson. Dyson seemed to be the gold standard. So to me, if you're in for a penny, go in for a pound. If you're gonna be spending um, whatever you're spending on a different brand and the gold standard is the Dyson, why not put a little more money in it and get a Dyson? I really think you would be pleased with this. Mine, I believe, when I bought it, had a discount and it came with extra attachments. So I have attachments for cleaning my car, um, which I do. I'll just run out and clean the cup holders, you know, where little debris gets. Um, it just makes all that so easy. You don't have to have a bag. You just pull up on this little red spot, the canister opens up, and all that dirt just goes straight into your trash can, lower, close, and you're good to go. So I love it because I've always purchased high-end vacuum cleaners, like the ones with the best consumer rated rating, and they always had bags. They were always a standard, and then you had to have a different for a handheld vacuum cleaner or something to take to your car. With this, it is just one product is all you need for your vacuuming needs. I throw it in my car. I vacuum my office with it. Um, it's just light and portable and easy. It's so easy to use. I do think you'll like it, and I will show you a picture of something I bought on Amazon, it, is, it, it came with, the Dyson came with a holder that you can attach to your wall, but I don't, I didn't want to attach that to my wall. So I bought a freestanding one where all the attachments, uh, not all of them, but most of my attachments can be held there as well. So it's worked out really well for me. I keep it plugged in all the time and it's ready to go. Enough on my Dyson, although I can't tell you enough about how much I love it. The other product that you've probably seen me talk about before is microfiber fiber cloths. I spoke about these in my video on keeping uh, your shower clean with daily cleaning, and there are so many different brands. I like and have a lot of the e-cloth brand. They are a little pricey, but they do have sales from time to time. I have a big basket of different brands of e-cloths and 
honestly, depending on the job, different ones work better. But, you know, in the video that I mentioned, these pale um, yellow ones, uh, this is the cleaning cloth, and then there is another cloth that looks like this that is in the same color. That is the glass polishing cloth. These two together work wonders in the shower, but they would also be perfectly wonderful here on my stainless steel or anything, a mirror, anything that needs some shine. You always want to use one of the polishing cloths. But I will also say this is Casa Bella brand that I got at the container store probably a decade or more ago. This is the same type thing and works just as well. And then this is a brand I got on Amazon called Mr. Siga. I bought 12 of these and it wasn't that much money. Maybe there were 16. I've given them to everybody, but they're, they're just as nice. And so, the point is that the polishing cloth gets rid of streaks. So anything that would end up with a streak after you've cleaned, you go over with this. There's no product you have to put on this. It kind of just dries off any remaining water that was on the surface from your cleaning cloth and it removes that water and keeps a film or streaks from collecting. Now the other part are the cleaning cloths. These I got at, oh no, Lowe's I think. Uh, they're Scotch-Brite by 3M. As you can see, I've done some really deep cleaning with these, but um, they work. They are really good. And I don't worry about destroying these, I guess, as much as I might an expensive e-cloth or there is another brand that I can't think of what it is that's even more expensive than e-cloth. Uh, this is a large bulk set that I got, I think maybe 12 or 16 of these through Amazon. The brand is S&T Microfiber Cleaning Cloth. And again, I use them kind of, I give them away a lot, but I use them kind of as uh, more of I'm, I'm not as careful with them. If they get ruined, that's fine. So I'll clean outside with these and uh, inside whatever I need to do. They do also make uh, microfiber cloths in cleaning job specific <laughs> forms. So this is a scrub brush for washing dishes. It just has fabric on one side. It has more of a metallic-y plastic weave on the other side and foam in the middle. So it's great for cleaning a pot or getting any kind of baked on food debris off your pot without hurting your pot. So I love this. I believe this is a stainless steel cleaning scrub brush and it has this little bit of blue plasticky ribbon that runs through it that helps clean that sort of thing as well. So check out microfiber cloths on Amazon or through eCloth or the container store, Walmart, whatever you have available to you. And I bet you dollar stores probably have some products like that too. And find a few items that will work for you and the things that you clean the most see how you like them and i bet you'll want to keep buying them they are great at cleaning with just water sometimes i'll add in maybe some soap but generally all you need is water i will mention that to clean my windows each year or season um I use an extendable pole, which is something I probably just got as part of a kit at Walmart, and I will pop in what brand that is. On that pole, it has a larger kind of um, head on it with kind of a plasticky Velcro so that you can attach whatever pad came along with it, and I don't remember what. But what I did do is buy some microfiber cloths at Lowe's that are um, a larger pad and they will adhere to that Velcro on the extendable pole. I can just get those pads wet, get a couple of them wet, 
and wash down the windows with the pole. I don't ever have to get on a ladder, which is nice. And then I'll come back through with a polishing cloth, put that on the pole and dry off. The water so that has really made washing the interior and exterior windows so easy and something that I used to try to find somebody to clean them for me but now I can do it myself as often as I need and it's just quick and easy not as big of a project as it used to be so that is life-changing product cleaning product number two number three is my old favorite, Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. And again, you don't even need product, just some water and a bit of elbow grease, and these puppies will clean up some items that maybe you're having a hard time getting off the surface. So you do always want to read the manufacturer's recommendation when you're cleaning like acrylic sinks and tubs or fiberglass sinks and tubs just to make sure that this sort of a thing won't scratch it or dull the finish but generally if you have something that your microfiber might not get then come in with your Mr. Clean and you will be excited. Plus you won't need as much elbow grease which is always a very nice thing in my book life-changing cleaning product number four is really something that prevents you from having to clean which is also oh so nice because it saves you time saves you effort and just makes life easy and i love life to be easy and that is an oven liner those things i have used for decades but i just buy them locally like at Walmart or online at Amazon. They usually come a little bit larger than my oven, cut them down to fit my oven. Then you just have a single piece of protection for the bottom of your oven. If something were to spill over or drop to the bottom of the oven, instead of baking onto your oven, it actually just burns on the oven liner or evaporates on the burner or oven liner or just sets on the burner liner and then that way once you get your pie let's say out of the oven you can take your liner out clean that off put it back in until you're ready for a new one now every now and then you will re need to replace them because sometimes they just wear out or get nasty looking themselves. But they're not that expensive. Uh, the last time I bought some, it was two in a box. So I had a spare for when I needed it. But I really think if you're not using an under oven liner or if you're using foil or making your own, I think you would prefer using one of the ones that you can buy just because it's a solid surface and you don't have to worry about liquids getting in between two pieces of foil or anything like that. So I highly recommend oven liners just to make your life easier. And my last and final life-changing cleaning product is Degreasing Dawn. I love this stuff. I love this st stuff so much that I buy it in the big bottle. <laughs> and then I also have it in a little bottle and I'll decant the big bottle into the little bottle and carry this around the house with me to do my cleaning jobs. Y'all, the stuff, I use it on grease that I get on fabrics such as my apron or clothes. I might even throw a little in the washing machine if doing my uh, kitchen towels or washcloths. This stuff is just wonderful. Yes, it does get dirt and grime off your pots and pans and dishes, but it also will get dirt and grease off your stove top, your finna hood. Uh, I love to soak the little uh, filters from my finna hood in Dawn with water for a little bit, then scrub them down, rinse them off, and that grease just melts away. If you are not using Dawn Ultra, I guess that's really its name, three times grease cleaning power, then you are missing out. The other thing I like to do with Dawn is 
put it in a old foaming hand cleanser bottle or you can buy a new bottle at the Grove or the Grove Collaborative or something such as that. But I'm a cheapo and who's really looking at my glass cleaning container anyway, I keep it under the counter. So I filled the bottle almost up with water. I put a tablespoon of Dawn in the bottle, shook it up, and now I can just squeeze out a big dollop of foamy liquid, rub my glasses in it, put it all around. It's good about getting makeup off the earpieces and of course off the lenses. Rinse it under water, clean it with a nice dry uh, microfiber glass polishing cloth and you will have the cleanest glasses of your life. And the great thing is you're not having to go out and buy an extra product or store an extra product. If you always have Dawn around, if you always have your microfiber cloths around, you're always gonna have clean glasses. So Dawn is great for that. It is also great for cleaning the screens that hold in your air conditioner filters or anything like that that get grimy and dusty and that dust just seems to almost not wanna come off. I will take my uh, screens off probably about once a year or two, and soak them in the bathtub, let's say, or the sink, whatever they fit in, in water and some Dawn. And then once they've soaked for a bit, come in with a scrub brush and a gentle scrub brush. You don't wanna get rid of the paint or enamel that's on there. And then rinse with water and you will have the cleanest screens ever and it won't take as much elbow grease. So that's just a few of the ways I like to use Dawn. It's just really a good product. And I, if you aren't using the Dawn Ultra, you've got to get some, I promise. I do wanna go back real, real fast and mention something I'm seeing a lot of on the Magic Erasers. You know, there's a lot of tennis shoes these days or cute shoes these days that have white soles. And I know if you like to keep your shoes looking clean and tidy, I am reading that Mr. Clean is the best way to do that. So I've tried it on my shoes, it works well, but one more way to work Mr. Clean Magic Erasers into your everyday life to make it easy. So these are my top five faves around the house. Please tell me what your favorites are. I'd love to know what products you can't be without. There is one I'd love to know if you've tried, and that is the Bissell Steam Shot, I believe, or Steam Brush. It's just a little handheld, and I've heard it's really good for grouts and crevices and things like that and I am interested in giving it a go, but I'd love to know if any of you have feedback. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this useful, and I will be back next week with a new video, and look forward to seeing you then. Thank you. Thank you.